You are too slow, Iron Witch. Betty! I'm already warmed up. Introducing the new tactical mech, upgraded for Core Logic OS, Witch Hunter Alpha. Come on, demonstrate your might to our guests. Commence offensive maneuvers at 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock. What? It seems similar to that mech Grace is debugging. Oh, what's wrong, Grace? Hard to believe the personality OS you were so proud of has been replicated by someone like me. A cheaper, more productive, and easier to deploy modular personality OS! The maintenance costs are half what you pay. There are none of the whole stability or personality disorder risks you fret about. Didn't the market applaud your tech patents? They'd always say only someone who loves tech as much as Grace could achieve this. Cold and withdrawn Iron Witch, a weirdo who treats machines like people. This black magic you've been researching for so long, cracked just like that by me. Ooh. Task complete. I suggest we get you auto defense mode. Is that okay, Master? Go ahead. Its intelligence system is crude, but I like its gumption. Approximately one million as professional as me. Enough, Fairy. Don't add fuel to the fire. Belle, how's Grace doing? Uh. Grace, are you okay? That voice is so lovely. She gave in so easily. But somehow, I'm not surprised at all. It responded to the voice command and executed the instructions without any redundant movements. And the steering mechanism's brake nozzle is gorgeous. It only lists one default command when recommending actions. And still so immature. I love it. Oh, <laughs> enjoying it? Why are you admiring your rival's work? Mm, this kid looks really good. Praise your rival like that? Uh, yes. I don't like it yet. You claim to have replicated Bellabog Industries' patent, but I won't buy it just like that. I'll believe it when I see this kid show us a little more. Show it to me. Right here, right now. Best if you let me pick it up for myself so I can see better. This is getting weirder and weirder. Why would I let my rival dissemble my work? But, well... You do have a point. I'll have Witch Hunter Alpha accompany you to demonstrate the difference in technological achievements. I've uploaded the coordinates of Three Gates' meeting place to Witch Hunter Alpha's memory. Enjoy its company and appreciate its skills along the way. Really? Thanks! Uh, but this doesn't mean I can see. I'm starting to worry she might side with the enemy. This is the meeting point Betty mentioned. I didn't expect this kind of company. Prepare for combat. Let's go. Go, 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 go! Yeah! 
Our time to shine, bro! I hope nothing happens when the three gates wrapped arrive. That was fast and so accurate. Don't praise your rival. <laughs> oh, I am just getting started. Warning units with high ether activity detected ahead. They are likely strong enemies. A direct confrontation is not suggested. Scanning for a suitable detour. I risk ethereal assault. Transit annihilation. It just sped off. Detour route cancelled. Warning. The area ahead contains many unfinished buildings. The path forward is blocked. Strategy modification is required. Scanning for a suitable detour. Uh, is it trying to force its way through? Now that's surprising. Can everybody hear me? I've decided to give you a special demonstration of the long-range firepower of Witch Hunter Alpha. The personalized operating system I built is more precise than your version, Grace. You can command it effortlessly. Witch Hunter Alpha, destroy hostile units ahead! Open fire! Charging lock. Awaiting orders. Calico, guarded missile launched. Huh? It missed. No. It's still. <clears throat> so you could tell. Right now. Correct. It can identify the best target to strike. Interesting. We're here. Good timing. The three gates reps and public security will arrive shortly. How about it, Grace? Willing to admit defeat? <sighs> I'm willing to admit this kid is indeed a superior mech. With strong firepower, good mobility, and responsive controls. A weapon well suited for mass production. When I first encountered it a few days back, it didn't have the personality OS installed. I never expected our patent to be reverse engineered to such an extent in such little time. Mm, uh, I finally got to see the day that Grace admits defeat! Ho -ho! Not just yet. I have a question to ask you first. Ask away. It's not a question for you. It's for the kid. What? Witch Hunter Alpha. How high should the driver's seat be set? 
I'll help neither in pulpit nor in seat. Your request does not make any sense. What if you were to suggest a seat height? What would it be? Nothing over 147 years. <sighs> Tight? What kind of question is that? Betty, shut down Witch Hunter Alpha right now, or uninstall the personality OS. We need to take it out of the hollow ASAP. <laughs> what nonsense. I have no idea how you've gotten your hands on it, but I'm certain your personality OS is plagiarized from the data frame I deployed in our prototype. Oh. <laughs> hey, no need for such ugly accusations. Resorting to this all because you can't admit failure? Just because you asked a useless question, you're now accusing me of plagiarism? 140 centimeters. That was Pilatus height back then. Huh? The former president of Bellabug Industries, Pilatus' father and my mentor, Horse. When he finalized his prototype, he calibrated a specific sea height so that his daughter could pilot it from the get-go. That height was directly embedded into the logic core. <laughs> On the way here, I realized which Hunter Alpha's thinking patterns were similar to those of our kids. I was suspicious if you used the same data framework. The answer to this question has finally convinced me. Only our prototype, a Bellabog Industry mech, could know this by default. Because my sweetie gets mad if the seat is set too high. How... You and your venomous slander! That's just a coincidence! You know deep in your heart it's not. Listen to me, buddy. The logic core data from the prototype hasn't had comprehensive troubleshooting yet. There's still lots of corrupted data that needs stripping away. Using a copied framework means it's also contaminated with corrupted data, and we've already been inside the hollow for over two hours. This kid is at risk of losing control at any second. Why would... No way. You're lying. I won't be tricked. Really? Still not giving up. Fine. Here's another task for Witch Hunter Alpha, then. Translate this. Red, green, red, red, green. Red, green? Now what are you up to? Box, bucket, box, box, bucket. Huh? How, how are you speaking in unison? Because this is the cognitive command code I installed when I debugged my kid. Wake up, Betty. Turn off Witch Hunter Alpha right now. stole the data while we were troubleshooting. Warning. Hostile behavior detected. Initiating self-defense mode. <laughs> I know you're just bluffing. Go, Witch Hunter Alpha. Get rid of this trickster witch. Oh, huh? Proxy, let's go after it. Witch Hunter Alpha, stop! It's lost control. After it. Just a simple mistake, a, a little hiccup. The child is your heart and soul, right? Hurry up!
fired missile. Has it stopped? <laughs> I've updated the target for the guidance module. You're just a machine. You dare defy me? This is your... What? It dodged it? Gender Alpha, enough now! Do as I say! Stop! This was what I, 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 my hand. Now, set the explosives along its current trajectory. Go down! It's still moving! Why? Why? Warning, fire control system and all board weapons have been damaged. Entering attack mode. The target's hull has been damaged. Ether activity is steadily increasing. That's no good. We're not doing damage to stop it. Oh, oh gosh, how could this happen? Betty, what now? Any contingency strategies? You're asking me? Of course I'm asking you! You're that child's mechanic! Uh, you know it inside and out. Think about how to solve this problem. The logic core is already corrupted! I... I can't command it! 
Pull yourself together. Now's not the time to be pessimistic. Careful. That mech's attacks are growing in intensity. Are there any software vulnerabilities we can exploit? Any hardware damage? Contingency protocols? Module defects? Think! Quick! Run. What's that? Run! Just run! I, I admit it. I plagiarized your data framework. I just built a simulation layer over the top of the base structure. I... I don't know how to deal with the situation! Let's run! Our weapons aren't enough to deal with it, and it will only get more dangerous as it corrupts! So, what about your mission, then? What about the Three Gates reps? I'll, I'll explain things to them and let this crazy piece of metal fend for itself. And we can still call up the HIA to come take care of it. What kind of joke is that?! Ugh! I'm shaken to my core. Hope nobody noticed. Why can't we run away? Anyone with common sense would do the same. We're facing an experimental weapon that's out of control, and our only control tool is broken. That's it. Let's leave things up to public security or the AIA. It's totally reasonable. I know what you're thinking. You just won't give up on that mech. You want to save it like it's a person, but this obsession with machinery is fanaticism. Why are you making me stay with you? Enough with all your nonsense! Leaving problems behind for someone else to handle. You're just shirking your obligations! You're that child's mechanic! It's your responsibility to deal with it! Run away? Have you thought about how many other people would be risking their lives because you neglected your duty? I... I, I don't know what to do! <sighs> Hand over the control panel. Huh? What are you gonna do? Take back control. Take back control of the logic core while it's being corrupted by ether? How? You said that you only built an emulated control layer, right? If the central control system and mech command are carried through the emulated control layer instead of direct authorization from the logic core, then there's still a chance. But that'll be almost impossible unless some magic happens. Frosty Cold Iron Witch. The... huh? Isn't that the name you've been mocking me with? If you need some magic, don't you need a witch on your side? Your shift is over! Up quick! Maneuver. Babies. Moving up. Yeah. 
What a good kid. Welcome back. <laughs> 